Yeah, that's something we always talk about doing is uh, getting a lot of turnovers. And, uh, you know, it worked out in our favor today. So the way the young guys have developed, especially in that secondary, and are contributing uh, so much, is that something you guys kind of saw building early on and is mm -hmm. kind of coming to fruition now? Yeah, we knew come, we knew when we were in camp that we had a lot of freshmen that can help us win. And, you know, we, you've seen it throughout this, the season, even today, that a lot of those guys are able to step up and make big plays, and that's what they did today. You guys get gas at all in the second quarter when you were on the field for like four straight rounds? No, we were, we, we was actually pretty good. I guess it was the weather. The weather was nice today, so <laughs> so it didn't really drain us too much. Did you, Did you guys get... in August that Nate Andrews was this good? Did you know? <laughs> no, we, we didn't. You know, Mason, he's been surprising us, and he's been doing a good job so far. You know, we're, we're looking forward to seeing him keep improving. You know, he's a good player. And he stepped right in for a senior leader. Mm -hmm. yeah, he did. Phillips, and didn't miss a beat. Yeah, he had a he had a big game. You know, we prepare we prepare for those situations where some guys go down, and we have younger guys that are able to step up and you know step in their spots if something happens. You know, and, they, and he just capitalized on his capitalized on his opportunity. It didn't seem like you guys were leaning up to be even worried about it. it. Seemed like just oh yeah, he'll be fine, plug in. I mean, that's two freshmen in your as your backstops. You guys seem to be totally confident about those guys. Yeah, we feel we feel like we're we're deep in a lot of positions, and we know. If someone goes down, someone else can come in and do a good job, just as good a job as they did. And uh, so we, that's something we're, we're confident about. And uh, we feel like we have a special team this year. Did you guys watch much of the Oregon game on Thursday? And what does it feel like to be sort of in the driver's seat for that now? Yeah, we we watched some of the game, and uh, obviously it's exciting, to, you know, to see them go down. And we get up to that two spot. But you know, right now we're not we're not trying to get too focused on the whole. You know, everybody's talking about Florida State, Bama, and the whole national championship thing. We're just trying to get through the season. You know, hopefully we'll be in that game when it come, when that time comes. Was it the way you guys started off so strong? Was it sort of a good, all right, everybody is just as focused as they were before Oregon lost that game. Was it sort of a good reminder that everything's okay? You know, I, I feel like one thing we do good as a team this year, we, we stay focused. Uh, I know previous years we win big games and we kind of have a down game. But yeah, I feel like that BC game was really kind of an opener for us all. We responded to that so far this season. And like, hey, we don't take anybody lightly this, this year. We just want to come out and show everybody that we deserve to have that number two spot. And your goals have been so high this year. Was it sort of like an afterthought that you had that uh, ACC, the Atlantic Division Championship today? I mean, <laughs> going to the ACC Championship game, that's a big thing, but it kind of seems like everybody wasn't really talking about that. I didn't even I didn't even know we saw that today. Like we just saw, I, we just saw the trophy in the locker room. We was like, oh, okay, this is nice. But yeah, we're happy about it. You know, we're excited to get back up there in the Charlotte. Okay. All right, thank you.